Hello guys, in today's video, I'll give you a basic understanding about the orbital parameters. How do we use them and why do we use them instead in uh, measuring an orbit or basically making an orbit. So that we will see today. So first let me give you some basics. Why do we use the orbital parameters? Let's get started. So let us discuss about the orbital parameters. So in orbital parameters we have six of them. So that is the semi-major axis, the eccentricity, inclination, ran, argument of perigee and true anomaly. Semi-major axis basically decides the size of the orbit. So basically how much big your orbit is that will be decided by the semi-major axis. Next comes the eccentricity. Eccentricity just tells you the degree of how much a particular orbit is elliptical or how much it is spherical. So that measure is taken care of by eccentricity. Next comes argument of perigee, inclination and ran. This is what we are going to focus on now. So uh, talking about inclination, suppose this is my orbit this is the perigee this is the apogee this is the descending node this is the ascending node okay so this becomes your and suppose here somewhere is the earth so this becomes your line of nodes this becomes the line of apsides okay so now what will happen with inclination where if i change inclination so what will happen is this So your orbit is changing like this if you change the values of inclination. If you take a side view, what is happening is this. So this is about inclination. Next, if suppose I tell you about the argument of perigee. So what will happen with argument of perigee is this. So this is controlled this motion is controlled by the argument of perigee this is the 3d space so next what I can do is this so now this mo this motion is controlled by ran right accession of ascending node now let us take argument of perigee in a little deeper so if you see the definition of argument of perigee it says it is the angle from the ascending node to perigee so that is the main statement the angle from the ascending node to the perigee measured in the orbital plane at the earth's center in the direction of the satellite motion so consider this is our orbit so this is the ascending node, this is the descending node, this is the perigee, this is the apogee. So this becomes the line of apsides. So now you can see when I rotate it like this, so that is what is our argument of perigee, that is what argument of perigee does. So you can see this line of apside remains constant. So that does not move, that is constant only thing that changes over here is the ascending node or the descending node so here only this is changing its place so as you move the orbit like this your ascending node is changing and hence since this is constant and this is moving hence argument of perigee which is an angle from the ascending node to the perigee ascending node to the perigee so this so this changes and this makes us move like this hence argument of perigee gives us this kind of motion so you understand this is constant and this is that is moving so hence we get our argument of perigee if we go according to the definition of right accession of ascending node there is this line of Aries that the first point of Aries that comes into picture so what is first point of Aries first point of Aries is nothing but it is a line 
that is constant that is constant throughout with reference to our earth so suppose this is this line of aries consider this as the line of aries so this is constant okay so what is uh, the definition saying it says it is the angle measured from the line of aries eastward so if we go eastward so this is eastward so when we go eastward to the ascending node so consider this is the ascending node now so what will happen is sorry suppose this is the line the line of nodes here is the ascending node here is the constant line of aries so the angle made eastward is the ran now you can see since this line is constant hence whenever i move in this way so if this is my motion so you can see that my line of nodes are moving or my ascending node is moving so in this way here this particular thing is constant but when i give this motion i get the motion of the ascending node again and hence my angle changes and according to this angle i can get my motion this kind of motion talking about true anomaly true anomaly is related to the satellite consider this is the satellite so it will orbit like this okay so what true anomaly says is it is the angle measured from perigee suppose this is the perigee so this line and to the satellite position so this line measured at the center of the earth suppose this is the earth so this perigee and this satellite so this angle this angle is our true anomaly so if suppose this satellite would be here so the angle would be this big this angle if it would have been here so there would be zero angle if it had been here so this is true anomaly thank you so much for watching uh, the definitions taken in this video are from the book that is Dennis Roddy. Uh, I have kept the book in Google Drive link in the description below in SATCOM folder. You can uh, access the book from there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.